Hello, and welcome to another RadToots.com Flash Animation Tutorial. In this tutorial, I will be explaining how to create and edit movie clips, and how to use the library in Flash. So in this tutorial, I'm basically going to draw and animate this crazy robot dude, and make him move his arms and his head and stuff. So uh, first thing I'm going to do, so I'm going to draw some, some rectangles here. So I click and hold down this tool here, select a rectangle, and let's make a let's make a lime green robot. Because most robots you see nowadays they they tend to be lime green. So let's uh, select this uh, drawing here, hit F8. We're going to call this his torso. Now. And uh, also notice that I, I selected the movie clip option as the type. So now that we've created this movie clip, we can come over here and we can see that our movie clip is now in the library. Now once you have your movie clip in the library, you can simply click and drag the movie clip onto your canvas and you can create as many as you'd like. But of course our robot is only going to have one torso, so I'm just going to delete these by selecting and hitting delete. And I'm going to go ahead and close this. And now I'm going to draw him some arms. We'll make his arms a slightly different color. So there's his right arm, and there's his left arm. Let's give him some legs too. And last but not least, we'll give him his CPU, also known as his giant brain. Okay, that looks that looks strikingly similar to a robot. Now I'm just going to select each of these individual objects I created, and I'm going to convert them into movie clip symbols. So this is going to be his head. his <laughs> his right arm well that's actually his left arm but it's our uh, it's on our right so we'll just call it the right arm and his left arm and you can probably guess what this is going to be and right leg. So once again, now that we've created these movie clips, we can come over here and we can see that they're now sitting in our library. So we can give them, we can give them several, several arms and legs if we would, but that, I don't think that's appropriate. So let's just keep him anatomically correct for the moment. Now let's say we want to add some details. For example, we want to give him some eyes. Well, what we can do is we can come over here to our library and we can double click on these movie clips. So once I double click, sorry, not on the name, you don't want to click on the name of the movie clip, you actually want to click on this little icon here. And now you can see in our little timeline navigation up here that we are editing the head movie clip. Now the cool thing about Flash is we can actually add other movie clips within each movie clip. So let's say we wanted to have a uh, have a leg coming out of his head here. Now you'll see that I've added this movie clip in the head movie clip. So if I went and double clicked on this left leg, you will see that I am now in a sub movie clip. So I'm in the head movie clip, but also even further into that movie clip, I'm into the left leg, which is a part of the head movie clip. It's a little complex to wrap your mind around it, but uh, then again, maybe not. So I'm going to want to give this robot some eyes, so I'm going to insert a layer here, double click on the name, change it to eyes, and we'll call this layer his face. Let's actually create two separate layers for his eyes. We'll call it uh, right eye 
and left eye. So let's draw his right eye in there. We'll give him sort of a sort of a giant right eye and maybe a smaller left eye. That looks awesome. Now let's give him a mouth. So I'm going to create another layer for his mouth. And his mouth is going to be a series of of lights. So I'm drawing these lights here. Actually, let me just copy and paste this square. So control C and control V. Control C is copy, control V is paste, or keyboard shortcut. And Okay, this is quite a terrible robot face, but it serves its purpose. So now let's uh, select all these dots, and we're going to convert this into a movie clip called Mouth. Now, <clears throat> what we've just done is we've created a movie clip within the head movie clip. So again, if you double click on the mouth movie clip, you can see that the mouth is part of the head movie clip, and the head movie clip is part of the scene. So we can, can go back to our scene here, and as we navigate into this movie clip here, you will see that we're now here in the head movie clip, and then we can go further into this uh, movie clip and go into the mouth movie clip. And again, just uh, just double click anywhere on the canvas to to travel up one directory or one layer of the movie clips. Okay, so now let's animate this uh, amazing robot we've just created here. First, let's attach his his limbs. Now, say I want to get his arm sort of waving up and down. Uh, the best way to do this is first to take this uh, all this stuff here and we'll make it into a graphic so that we can we can uh, we can modify it a little bit easier. You will see what I mean in a second. So let's call this his right arm underscore G for graphic. Now you see once I turn it into a graphic I get this little circle thing here. And that, I'm not exactly sure what that's called, but uh, it's sort of like an anchor point. And when we rotate this object by selecting the free transform tool here, you'll see that it rotates around that center point. Now, his arm's not going to be moving like this. It's actually going to be moving right uh, from this pivot point right here. So if you can click and drag this little circle icon here to the left there and you'll notice that once we start rotating it now it's anchored to that point so with this in mind let's go and apply that same idea to all these other movie clips here so we'll convert this to a graphic left arm and select the free transform tool drag the pivot point to the shoulder area. Now with his head, let's have it up here a little bit. And let's select all this stuff including the mouth and we'll change that into a a, a movie clip this time. Uh, we'll call it his subhead because he's already got a head, so now he's got a subhead. Now let's change that pivot point to down here. And you'll notice that once he starts moving his head now, he's kinda he's kinda floating around up there. And that looks pretty cool. So his head is set now, and let's go change his legs now. So double click to enter the right leg movie clip and we're gonna convert all of this stuff to a graphic called right leg underscore G and again 
we're going to move the pivot point right here. Now we're going to do the same thing again for his left leg. Convert to graphic. And move this pivot point. So there we go. Now he's all linked up, he's all pivoted, and he's ready to be animated. So let's start with his head, because that looked kind of cool. So let's double click on his head here from the root layer from scene one here. And let's select his, this should be his subhead actually. Yeah, so his subhead actually is including everything. Uh, so we don't really need these layers anymore. And we can just go ahead and select all these layers. Or sorry, delete all these layers. And those layers should actually still be within his subhead. So if we go into his subhead... Um, actually, no, they're not. Okay, that's okay. Anyways, let's, uh, let's add some... Add, add a keyframe add about 30 frames here and let's rotate so at 30 frames his head's going to be over there and then at 60 it should be back in the center so let's just uh, go skip that and go to 90 here and add a keyframe and we'll push his head over to this side here and then after another 30 keyframes or sorry 30 frames his head should be back in the center or at least close to the center and now to add a, uh, a motion frame we can just right click in between these keyframes and we can select uh, create motion tween so let's go ahead and do that for each for each motion tween here. And let's hit control enter and test it out. There he goes. It's a little bit slow, so I'm gonna increase my frame rate here and the way you increase your frame rate is you click anywhere on the canvas and let me just close this panel here so you navigate back to your canvas or click on your canvas and in your properties tab you should see this frame rate option here so right now it's set to 12 I'm just gonna change that to 30 and you can see now that we've changed it to 30 it's going a little smoother Although my computer's running a little slow right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and restart my system. Okay, so we're back at our root scene here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and animate each one of his arms and legs now. So let's uh, let's create a keyframe at si at the 60 frame. Right click on the frame and insert keyframe and let's rotate his arm so that it's now down here and then we'll go let's actually make that a little shorter so you can you can move your keyframes by clicking and dragging them to the frame uh, to the position in time where you want it to be so let's uh, set that at set it at 20 there and let's create another keyframe at 60 and we'll move his arm back up here. Make our motion tweens. So his arm's going to start here, and then it's going to go down, and then it's going to go up here. Now, if we we always want to return to our original position, so let's add another keyframe 
where it's moving back down. Right about there. So let's test this out. Control Enter. Oh yeah, this robot's getting pretty crazy now. So let's go back and we'll change his his left arm now. We'll make this one even a little faster so it uh, looks a little more interesting. So we can insert our keyframes. And we'll start him off up here. And then on the second keyframe, maybe down here. And then all the way. Oh, let's go over here. And then we want it to end up uh, up back up here. Okay, let's uh, let's see what this looks like. Add our motion tweens. Control Enter. Okay, you can see there's a little bit of a jump there at the end. So let's uh, change this last keyframe here to be closer to where it starts. So we'll go to our last keyframe and drag it right up there. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, dance crazy robot, dance! Okay, now let's go for his legs now. Uh, double click on his leg, add some keyframes, and reposition his leg at each individual keyframe. We'll start in the center there, just for simplicity. And his leg's going to kick out like that, and swing like this and back to the center. Insert our motion tweens and let's go and do the same thing for his left leg. We'll start it off to the left a bit, move it over to the right, actually let's make it go over here. So now he's doing the can-can which is pretty crazy if you ask me and back to the left add our motion tweens and let's test this out okay yeah he's pretty crazy let's uh... let's change this um this part right here, you can see his his head is sort of going behind his arms. So we'll go back to our our main scene here. Oh, everything's actually on one layer. So what we can do is we can click on his head movie clip, and if you hit Control and then the up arrow a few times, you won't actually see anything happening. But what that's doing is it's bringing that uh, object forward, even though it's on the same layer. So Hopefully this works. Control Enter, and there we go. It's a little layers within layers trick there. So there's our dancing robot. I'll just let that play for a while because it's so awesome.